Namaskar. Welcome to Conversations with Rakesh. Here's today's question. Sir, I want to read, but every time I pick up a book, within a few pages I get bored and I cannot continue. In fact, the last time I read a book, I was in college. And you keep talking about your five top favorite books. Can you list them? What do I do to become a good reader? Um, thank you for that question. It's one of my favorite questions. And I'm going to list down my five favorite books. Not only that, I'm going to also list down my five favorite movies and podcasts in the next conversations video. But today, let's focus on this big problem that many of us face that we cannot pick up a book. We want to. But the moment we just flip one page, that's it. Something in us says that stop it or we get bored or we sleep. In fact, books can be a great way to induce sleep. I fully understand what you're trying to say. And uh, I think I want to demystify this a little bit more because I learned how to read books over time. I was not a born reader. In fact, the first time I ever read a proper novel was at the age of 19. And this was in my UG program. There was a horrible exam coming up and I was bored. And I found a copy of a book, a novel, right next to my table. It was called The Godfather. And I had seen the movie Godfather on Doordarshan. So I just picked up and uh, opened it and the first page just sucked me into the book because I was able to connect it to the movie that I had watched and I finished that whole book in one night and that gave me the aha moment of reading that I could read before that I would pick up a book within two pages put it down so let's first understand that why do some of us have that problem and what can we do to solve them and the answer is very simple that many of us pick books that are really not worth reading. And we sometimes pick book because uh, it's a popular book and everybody's talking about it and we feel left out that if we don't read that book, we'll not be able to connect with them. Some of us want to show off that we are also readers and we want to be accepted in this school club of people who read and want to make sense of their conversation. So we throw our weight around on these issues. And I, there was a group of people in my college which was into P.G. Woodhouse and P.G. Woodhouse is an amazing writer but I I promise you and this is not I, I'm not making this up I picked up P.G. Woodhouse when I was in the first year college I did not understand a single word that was written and I thought it was such a boring book and I just kept it down and this is the most hilarious book called Carry on Jeeves I just kept it and uh, I picked that book again at the age of 35 and I'm a big P.G. Woodhouse fan. So what I want to convey to all of you is that there are certain books that take time and you should avoid them as much as possible. And there is a there is a way of reading that you need to develop that step one is that find a book that you can read and it interests you. It's like, you know, eating food you can't order a terrible dish and expect to eat it it needs that element of likability between you and the dish and there are many books which are very well written but may not be for you so don't pick up books just to become mr popular i think pick books because you genuinely are curious and you want to know more about that book so godfather was that journey for me and i started to enjoy reading then I started reading one or two more fiction books. I randomly picked it up and I picked up only on one uh, quality that I would go to the back of the book. And if the summary of the book excited me, I would pick it up. And I started reading a few of them and started to enjoy reading. So this process of sitting down and reading became very uh, important for me and I started to learn. And then slowly I built my reading repertoire and then I would ask friends what are the top books and here's how I find a book that I would be interested in. So I'll first ask all my friends what are the top books you have read. Then I'll make a list and then I will start googling about these books and the best part about Google is that you'll find lots of material on these books without even opening the book. 
so you go to the youtube and the author of that book would have written, uh, would have given a nice 30 minute lecture some of these lectures are on ted talks some of them are on uh, google talks microsoft research uh, some of them are in universities and keynote speeches so it's all there some of them are interviews for uh, CNBC, CNN or some big media company, all free. So what I do is I start listening to why the author wrote that book and I start to pick up and if that YouTube video doesn't excite me, I don't even buy that book. So that's my first checking point of whether this book is for me or not. The second checking point is that I then go to podcasts. I have a few apps on my phone. Google podcast is one of them. And I Google that book name there and usually I'll find an episode in some podcast which is about this book or based on this book and I listen to it. And if that excites me, then I really am interested. Then I will read some more reviews about that book and probably then decide to read it. And this is how I build my plan to read. And once I read, I never stick to one book at one point of time because I get very bored. So what I do is I read two, three books at a given time. One usually is a very light comic book. One is a graphics book because I'm a very visual person. So I love to see pictures and Tintin, Asterix, Calvin and Hobbes. Uh, and there is one more very good author who have, has taken nice quotations and made it into a graphic book. I love that. So I have that second genre. And the third is a little bit heavy uh, business book. And nowadays I'm very fond of history because I have now started to love history a lot. I love storytelling. So I pick up books which have a very historic view on concepts and there is a story which I can learn from. And over time I have built my interest for reading. So the person who asked the question, step one, please first find out some books that excite you. Let's say you are into let's say statistics or financial nowadays fintech is a big thing so let's say you are a fintech person so fine find out some good books in finance and narrow down the list to one or two good books that everybody says it's a good book now go to google or youtube and check out the author and his views on that book find out some more uh, commentaries on that book from other academicians or uh, intellectuals Start then talking about this book or finding podcasts about this book and warm yourself up on that. Sometimes you'll find the whole audio book free, which I don't like because it takes away the royalties for the author and I'm an author as well. But please find a way to listen to as much as possible. And then when you are ready, please buy the book or borrow it from a friend and take your time. You don't need to read the whole book in one night. This is not a race. You don't have to tell people that I finish a book in two days because I have friends who say that, that once I take a book, I finish it in two, three days. I'm not like that. In fact, I sometimes take upwards of two months to finish one book. So let it be. Uh, you don't have to prove anything to anyone. This is for you. If you like reading and if you're curious, you will enjoy this journey and pick up books that make you smile, make you think. You can connect the dots, have a lot of stories in it. And if you're a person who are very good with academic books, go ahead and pick academic books. Each person has their own view. And sometimes, you know, there's a very famous dialogue that you don't choose books. Books choose you. I think sometimes it works. So when you go in that shop, which is full of books, which are very rare these days, because everything is on online, uh, let the book pick you up and go with your gut feel and i have a second uh, uh, way of working on books that i never pick big books i pick up small tiny books and there are various of them i also book, pick up books which have pictures inside them because i come from the amar chitra katha days uh, so visuals are very important for me and this is how i select my reading pattern and make my reading patterns work for so next time, please don't buy books that you don't like. Second, watch videos that you can enjoy on books that you want to read. Third, pick up a podcast or let's say a movie also, which is based on a book and enjoy that. And once you are convinced that this book is something I have to read, give it time. It's okay. Take 
three months, nobody cares. This is your life and your mental cognitive skills. You know, books are the nourishment for the brain. Just like how we nourish our bodies, we supplement it with all kinds of nutrients. Books are the nourishment for the brain. So if you want your brain to be healthy and productive and have a great future, then books are the nourishments you should put inside your brains because it's such a beautiful world. An author has put in a lot of effort to write a book. His story or her story itself is very inspiring. And then why they wrote the book is very inspiring. And what the book does to your life and to your brain is very inspiring. So pick up these simple, simple ideas. Pick your first book. Send me a note that I finished one book. And I think you'll enjoy this process as you go along.